Hey gang, here's uh, an immobilizer from the Chrysler uh, type vehicles uh, that you're going to run into. And you're going to see more and more of these uh, over the next few years. They're from the 2004 to 2007 era of the Pacifica style immobilizer systems. Of course, those vehicles would include, uh, say, the 2004 to 2007 Dodge Caravan, uh, your, uh, that's of course the Pacifica itself, 2004 to 2007. Uh, you have some Liberties, like the Jeep Liberty, um, and you know, just 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 a few vehicles that it, you know, the, the Chrysler, the Town and Country, the the Plymouth Voyager, all 2004 to 2007. Uh, vehicles that you can't hook up to the OBD and get a PIN code yet a PIN code is required in order to program the key into the car and uh, depending on you know the time of day uh, maybe you were used to ordering a, a, a PIN code from a vendor but maybe that vendor is closed or maybe it's a weekend or something like that and you're working on the vehicle uh, this whole thing is about how to retrieve the pin code from this immobilizer. So we got ourselves a broke one here and uh, we're going to attempt to read the pin code so that uh, if this were real we could program a key into one of these vehicles that we mentioned earlier. You'll notice I've got a, two different uh, what do you call two different uh, types here. Uh, they're all the same as far as uh, the immobilizer function is concerned, but the part number is different. You can see I got an AG and then have an AF, and there's some other ones that are out, but basically they all do the same thing, and they have to be accessed the same way. You just can't hook up a uh, unit to the OBD connector and, and pull a pin code. If you don't have other way of getting it, it's like you're stuck. So let's take this A up here and uh, take the cap off and see what it looks like inside. And then we'll talk about uh, ways to access uh, the chip that you got to use to uh, read the pin code. So we took the cap off and you're probably going, man, well, I don't see anything there. You know, uh, shoot, see this big uh, warehouse looking thing there and you see a couple other items underneath there. Where in the world are we going to hook up to and how we're going to do this? Well, this is the wrong side, dude. That's why you can't pop the cap and, and get the information you need. With a little fancy tool here, looks like a soldering iron and it's got a, a three-quarter inch uh, round deal there that uh, when it gets hot, you, it'll literally burn a hole through the plastic and you can access that uh, chip that way or for the purposes of this video we're going to take your basic Forstner bit and uh, put a little hole in there and uh, access it and go from there so looking at the back of it here you see you can't really do very much from the back so we're going to have to turn it over and go from the other side uh, of this immobilizer unit here and we'll put a hole up in here and uh, we'll access uh, where we've got to uh, connect to read the pin code. Tools and equipment we're going to be using. And this is a clip that uh, we're going to attach to the chip inside of the uh, immobilizer. This is a device that we're going to use to read the actual pin code in the car. We're going to connect that clip that I showed you to this and then uh, we're going to use uh, another program, some software, and uh, pull information out. Uh, selected a 2005 Dodge uh, Grand Caravan or Dodge Caravan and, and uh, we've got that uh, motherboard pulled up on the screen here and what this screen shows you is the chip where you're going to actually hook up to or connect to to retrieve the information that you desire which is the pin code to be able to program into this car 
So with my Forstner bit here, I went down about uh, oh an inch and an eighth. We're talking center from the edge of where the neck is, uh, about an inch and an eighth from there to there, and then about oh a little about five sixteenths over from the edge here. And as you can see, uh, I'll give you a better shot of a chip that we're going to hook up to. So as you can see there's a little chip right there that we're going to hook up to right there. That's what we're going to use to read the pin code on this module and that'll work. So we clean away a little bit of the uh, protective coating on that chip. After cleaning some of the protective coating off of that chip that you can see there we're now going to attempt to read the the skim uh, number here and this will tell us what we need to know got to make sure you're good and connected and you see a, a picture like that with all those red everywhere you see red that means you're not connected at that point so you got to make sure that you are very well connected see now it looks like on pin 8 I don't have a good connection on pin 8 and as soon as I get a good connection I'll get a pin code. See that? So until you get a full coil read, you won't get anything. But this is what your screen looks like once you pull the pin code. So the pin code for this one here that we're doing here is 3484. You see the pin code and uh, just a little review here so we went about an inch and an eighth from the where the neck is that front face to the center here and about five sixteenths of an inch in and it gives you direct access to this little chip right here where you're going to read the pin code for this particular skim module and you say okay well what do I do with that hole when I'm done Real simple. You can take a piece of black electrical tape, cover it up, and uh, you're good to go. You haven't done any damage at all to the system. And there's the pin code for that particular uh, caravan. And uh, again, we're talking about the Pacifica style uh, immobilizers, the ones where you just can't hook up to the uh, up to the OBD connector and you know read the uh, the pin code and at various times uh, in your service where uh, a vendor may not be able to provide you with that particular information uh, so again uh, that's uh, where you would go in to do uh, the reading of the information that's required to program a key into that particular style of vehicle. Gee, was he ever in there? But that's it right there, you know, and you guys say, okay, hey, what kind of equipment was that? You know, uh, well, uh, there's a lot of different makers of equipment that do pin code reading, uh, but this is a, a, a D-Max unit, and um, you're a locksmith, you're the only one that can get that. Um, now that's a very bold statement right there because I'm sure that a lot of you guys uh, uh, don't always shop at places that only sell to us. But um, for those of you locksmith guys that are, are trying to do this kind of thing, uh, you, need to, you need one of these. And there's several places uh, on the U.S. side that you can get, certainly there places uh, outside the United States that uh, this equipment can be obtained. In either case, hey, let's be safe out there, let's do the right things, and let's keep the right cars with the authorized owners. Thank you for watching.